Uh, so hi everyone. Today we'll be talking about uh, the codes on how to fine tune a uh, LLM over custom data set. So basically, the data set that I'm using is JSON files, which consist of dialogues, and eventually we would be translating these dialogues into its summaries. So I would be using the Flan T5 small model for fine tuning because I'm having some hardware uh, restrictions. Else, if you can load a bigger model in your memory, you can go for that. So first of all, let's see the training and test data set over which we would be loading, we will be fine tuning the model. So here you can see that ID, there are three columns for each entry. One is ID, summary and dialogue. So dialogue is the one on one car to one uh, conversation between two people and summary is the generated summary out of that conversation. So we'll be fine tuning the flan T5 small model on this particular task of summarization. So the first step is to pip install all the required packages as mentioned in the first cell data set torch transformer sentence piece accelerate bits and bytes pi 7 z r evaluate uh, rogue score hugging face up now once you're able to do that really first of all loading the data set that we have got so i'm loading the train.json file and test.json file as you can see it is in the same path where the file is using the load underscore data set we're loading these files these are json formats you can load csvs also you can load text file also you can load the inbuilt uh, data sets also that are available for testing out. So once we are able to do that, you can see the structure that we have got after using the load underscore data set function. So the features are visible, the total number of rows are visible for training data, similarly for test data. Now in the second part, we will be loading the LLM that we will be fine tuning that is flan T5 small. So we are providing its model ID from hugging face and then using more auto model for sequence to sequence LLM. This is, uh, we are using auto model for sequence to sequence because it is a sequence to sequence translation. We have a sequence of text and we want to summarize that, which is also a sequence of text that is the output. So we are loading the tokenizer and auto model for the same. Once you are able to do that, we would be uh, do, uh, doing a, a small amount of pre-processing to make it more uh, suitable for uh, fine tuning. So first of all, we will be calculating the maximum length of dialogues that is available and the maximum length of summary that is available across training and test data set. So this particular uh, uh, this particular code snippet that you can see uh, concatenate data set. So first of all, I'm concatenating the two data sets training and test. And then even we take the whole data set and then we try to calculate the maximum length available for dialogue. Similarly, for summary, we are doing the same thing. Now there is a function that has been written preprocess function. So in this case, Sample is basically one entry that is which, which has a dialogue summary and ID, one entry of the whole data set. So we will be first of all adding a prefix summarize colon. So basically we are trying to tell the LLM what task to be done, right? So summarize colon and then the dialogue part. So we are adding a uh, prefix here. Then we are calculating the tokens. Then we are tokenizing the whole input dialogues and then we are tokenizing the summaries also. So we are tokenizing both the input and the output. So the model underscore inputs will now be having two uh, we are two keys. One is input underscore IDs. Other is attention mask that I will show. So once you generated the tokens for input and the output, that is a summary. Now we will be going, uh, especially for the output part, any pad tokens that are used by the tokenizer. Padding, I guess you all know if the lengths are variable. So we try to add extra tokens to make a uniformity of length. So if that happens in that case, uh, you need to replace the token ID, the default token ID that is getting used by the tokenizer with minus 100 because we don't want to include the padded tokens into our results. So when we'll be calculating any metric, they might also get result and our uh, numbers become inflated. So in that case, just to predict, just to get the numbers over whatever has been predicted, we will be replacing all the padding that has been used for the labels, especially the summary section with minus 100. And eventually here you can see that uh, then we are assigning a new key labels with the tokenized IDs for the summary. So in the output, you will see that after preprocessing, calling this preprocessing function, we got three, uh, three entries, input IDs, attention mask and label. Input IDs is basically the tokenized version of the dialogue that we have got attention mask basically is is a zero one array which is one for all the entries that are available in one entry and 
for padding it goes for a zero so for example assume that uh, we have a sentence he is a boy and then the max length that has been set is 10 so he is a boy has just four words right so when tokens would be generated it the entry would be having just four tokens but actually the max length is 10 so we would be using six padding so in that case the attention mask would look something like this one 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 and then six zeros so just to show that you don't need to pay attention towards the padded tokens and label ids are present so now we have got some formatting with us the next part is that we will be trying to write a few functions for calculating the metrics that we need so this is the most important function compute matrix the metric that we will be calculating to evaluate the performance is rogue so rogue i won't be jumping into the mathematics but it is a metric for testing task over summarization so how to use rogue so basically we are assuming that whenever the prediction would be given by the model it will be having the predictions and the labels so ground truth is the label so first of all we will be decoding the tokens that has been input so basically what happens is that we took the text we, uh, we converted into tokens which are numerical in nature and then eventually fed it to the model so the output would be also numerical so we first need to decode the numericals into the actual text as you can see that decoded predictions and decoded labels again replace minus 100 in the labels as we can't decode them so as you know we uh, we have kept minus 100 in the first step as i showed you while pre-processing in the input in the ground truth tokens that we generated so now we will be reverting that also and then we will be calling the post process text call function which is this which is nothing but some uh, text cleanup like you are stripping the text that we have got after decoding and adding a new line for the rogue basically for calculating rogue you need to enter new line character after every sentence here you can see that we have loaded the metric evaluate.load that is rogue and then we have calculated the metric here predictions are decoded predictions and references is decoded labels reference basically ground truth and then we are rounding off it and then there is one more entry that we are adding that is a generated length so we are trying to calculate the average generated length by the model so basically it might be the case that for some uh, for some summaries it would be 10 for uh, so some it would be 20 30 40 so an average of that we are trying to get into the results also so apart from just rogue we are also adding a metric for the generated length by the model now data collator for sequence to sequence so it is basically used for batch processing of the data so we are trying to now convert the data set that we have for training and testing for into batches so here it's nothing major tokenizer we are passing and passing the model we are passing label pad token id that is used uh, that is minus 100 as you we set up early only and pad to multiple of 8 so this is basically something related to gpu as i read i'm not very sure now moving on uh, we are coming closer to the training section now so we will be first of all importing hugging face hub so why we are doing that because whatever model we would be training we would be pushing it to the hugging face hub so eventually how you are able to load other models like google forward slash flan t5 small we loaded now you can also load your uh, fine tuned model from hugging face itself so we will be pushing this model to hugging face only straight away and then we are uh, loading a sequence of sequence trainer and a sequence of sequence training argument function so in this sequence sequence training argument function we are providing a few parameters as you can see train batch size evaluate batch size fp16 is basically float 16 so this is basically to make uh, used to make a uh, training faster with the loss of slight precision learning rate we have set number of epochs so i've kept it one so that we can like demonstrate everything in one go and then we are calling the sequence of sequence trainer in which we are passing the model the training arguments that we have set here the data collator which is basically dividing the data set into batches training data set i have set it as just five samples i was sending because I want to demonstrate i don't want to fine tune it actually you can uh, remove this particular thing evaluate data set you are getting that is test and then compute matrix fraction that we uh, that we have designed above for calculating rogue now we'll be starting trainer.train as i've set it up for just one epoch and just five samples it took me around five to ten minutes if you go for a bigger thing i think you need to have a bigger system uh, better hardware as it will take a lot of time for fine tuning also so you can see that we have got some numbers rogue one rogue two these are the metrics that have been calculated training loss test loss everything is visible now 
we have also evaluated the trainer so we have got multiple metrics here also that you can that are visible to you now we are moving on to the next important part that is pushing the model to hugging face hub so to push the model to hugging face hub you first need to import notebook.login and uh, notebook underscore login because we are using jupyter notebook once you call this notebook underscore login function we get a prompt here where you need to add your hugging face token so you need to create a hugging face token which is free of cost you don't need to worry so you need to uh, create two tokens one is for read and other is for write so once you go into hugging face you search about how to create hugging face token you will get it it's quite easy to do now once you've created your token you need uh, you need to add that uh, write token not the read one into the prompt that comes here so here you can see that then you will get a if the token is valid you get this message so once you get this message you first of all save the pre-trained model into some id and then eventually create a model card and push the mod trainer push to hub so eventually it pushes a lot of things to the hugging face hub now once you are able to push the model to hugging face hub now it's time how you can load the model that has been pushed and eventually use it also so here you can see that uh, as it pushes to a private it is a private model that we are pushing right it's not public so in that case you need to you need to log in also just remember that because it requires a token authentication token for loading the model or you can provide a parameter while in the pipeline itself so here you can see that i am calling the pipeline function from transformers for summarization and the model is gupta 7791 which has been uploaded on my repository uh, for my repository that is flan t5 small hyphen samson so this is the name that i have given it to you uh, give it given it and eventually then we are getting some samples from the data set dot test that we had already and then we are calling the summarizer which is a pipeline function so eventually you can see that it is loading again downloading the whole uh, fine tuned model and then eventually summarizing it for us so in this particular demonstration you saw how you can train an llm over custom data set uh, how you can fine tune it and eventually push it to hugging face hub also and then download it from hugging face hub and use it for your daily purposes